Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. It is 603, 57 degrees. Gonna be another pretty nice day out there of a sunny and 70. Not as like 80 yesterday. Yesterday was ridiculous. I, I know. I thought I fell through like some kind of wormhole. It was July. You had that envision of like, okay, well, uh, Lollapalooza's on the way. Oh, wait a minute. That's all over. No, it's not. I was wearing not. shorts and like, like a quarter sleeve shirt and I was like sweating. Hmm. It's insane. What logo was on the quarter sleeve shirt? It was a Snoopy skeleton. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> That's my girl right there. Yeah. Uh, it's where'd, you, time. where'd you get that? Amazon or? TJ Maxx. TJ yeah. Maxx. Oh, well, a deal too. You get the Max for the most. Or wait. <laughs> we are a the Maxinista. Most for the le- whatever it is. <laughs> what is their slogan? Something about the Max for the cheapest. <laughs> Let's see here. TJ Maxx. Slogan. We're starting off hot today. Never the same selection twice. No, that's not it. That's but it. That's not it. When you go, AI just told me that. What? AI sucks. <laughs> well, it's taking jobs. That's a whole other side Get topic. Max for... TJ just... Maxx has it all for way less. No, that's hmm. not catchy. That's their website. Never the same selection twice. It's that's... something about get the max, like, get the max for the... something. <laughs> Wouldn't it make sense if it was get the most for the max? No, because that'd be like the maximum price. It's something about being cheap. Wait, Rick checked in from South Holland, and he works at a TJ Maxx. Yeah. And he said, "Never the same selection twice." You're right, Brian. So no, thank you from checking. That's not. That's not what I'm talking. That's not what I'm referencing. <laughs> Are you? Do you think that's the TJ Maxx in South Holland that only has that slogan? Yeah, that's a bogus one. <laughs> that's I, I've stupid. heard that. It's at a bombed out gas station yeah. turned into a TJ Maxx. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a Maxinista. I love a deal. <laughs> I've absolutely seen the same thing there before. Mm-hmm. I, so, I'm not saying you're not that. It's live. What I'm saying is you don't know the slogan. That's what we're saying. It sounds like you're a fake fan. Yeah, fraud. It's embarrassing. No. Poser. <laughs> so this one says also they've had a lot of slogans. Because oh. this one says the TJ Maxx commercial slogan is Max, what makes you you? That's not the one I'm thinking of either. Hmm. This is awful. A lot of people checking in. Max for the minimum. Get the max. Uh, Delivering hmm. off price value. That's you get the is. okay. Tanya checked in. You get the max for the minimum at TJ That's Maxx. That's what it is. Okay. The max for the minimum. Is it a song? No. Oh. Uh, you just get the max. You get for the, the max for the minimum at TJ Maxx. See, everyone's sending it in. I knew it. But you didn't know it. <laughs> but I hated it in, <laughs> in spirit. Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q 101. Well, before we get you a chance to see Coldplay in Vegas for free, as Kenzie bought the Snoopy skeleton three quarter sleeve shirt. Is that what it was? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of like that baseball, you yeah, know, I love that those. style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, from TJ Maxx, we, just so you remember the slogan from today going forward. Get the Max for the minimum at TJ Maxx. Max, Max for the minimum. You'd like to wear those famous names, but you don't want their famous prices. Famous names <laughs> Line again, you want to wear famous things but don't want the famous price? Is that what she said? Oh my gosh, this sucks. Wow. Wait. Like famous things, but you don't want the famous price. Famous things, but you don't want the famous price. You want to, wear, dun, 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 dun. You want to wear famous things but not the famous price. Oh, God. That's some writing there. Famous names, designer fashions. Nothing looks so good and I said. This Christmas, give the max for the minimum. The Save a merry 20 to 60 percent on brand name gift. And passions Ooh. every day at TJ Maxx. Get the Max for the minimum at TJ Maxx. That was a local Chicago commercial, uh, and that was from 1983. So it's a 40 year old commercial. So any of those sale and prices that's what there? Sticks out to me. Well, I'm just saying those sale prices. I'm not saying they're accurate. Yeah, not that wasn't anymore. a current TJ Maxx commercial. Although their prices are incredible. They are. I, the last line's bothering me. I didn't know what she had on. She uh, said, not of the talking, the last line of the song. J-Max. Get the max for the oh. 
20% on brand name gifts and passions every day at TJ Maxx. What part of Bob's that you? Before the talking, you have to get to the jingle. Mm. It sounds like she said ISIS, and this way I'm asking his question. You think TJ Maxx? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think that's what she said. I, said, I heard ISIS, no, I have a question. That might be a you problem. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what she said. <laughs> Nothing looks so good like ISIS. What'd you say? Nothing looks so good on ISIS. ISIS. No, it's not. What did she say? I think she's saying nothing looks as good and nice as. Ah. Ah. Famous name designer fashion. Nothing looks so good on ISIS. This Christmas, give them up. That makes sense. Nice as? (laughs) Well, now it sounds like she's saying nice ass. Okay. (laughs) Well, now I can't I unhear. I think it's ISIS. I can't nice ass. <laughs> Thank you, TJ Maxx. Well, as if you guys know what you're saying there, it's not transcribed. Let's see one more time. Nothing looks so good. Nothing looks so good. Just so you know the visual, they're driving up like in a Bentley. <laughs> Ooh, that. And, and the guy is one of those big shaggy dogs. It's the guy alone with his armor on a big shaggy dog, and he's driving one of those old-fashioned cars that cost like millions and they're shopping at TJ Maxx. That's why they have millions because they're shopping at TJ Maxx. It's nice ass, I think. I think it's ISIS. <laughs> well, why would it be nice ass, Brian? Well, you said it. That, that's in my head. I can't well, no, get it. I said nice ass and then you translated it to nice ass. Hey, hey, some of the jeans do make you look like a nice ass. <laughs> that's fair. All right, well, we'll keep working on it. Now is your chance to experience the music of the spheres with a trip to see Coldplay at Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. Standard message rates apply. Please don't text and drive. Q101. No transcription necessary here. It's very clear and concise. If you text the word falling to 95819, you have a chance to go see Coldplay for free in Vegas. Pretty huge. Uh, Coldplay field seats. You get the flights. You get the rooms. Two nights stay. Field seats. Coldplay. Are you kidding me? In Vegas, baby. <laughs> so it's a different text number than usual. 95819. So text falling to 95819. 95819. Text that. I guess yeah, people are texting in and saying that she's saying nice as, like Kay said. So nothing looks as good or nice as. I feel like you're really ignoring the people who say that they also hear ISIS, because we have a lot of those texts, too. They're, that's, those, that's a, again, it's a you problem and it's a them problem. Hey. Yeah. It's, it's nice I ass. I got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say nice ass, but no one likes that part either. They don't like that's a me problem. I understand that. Text falling to 95819 for a chance to go see Coldplay in Vegas. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Cage the Elephant, night one of Q101's Twisted Christmas. Now, these pre-sales sold out last week, but the on-sale is going on now. Very limited seats for all four nights of Q101's Twisted Christmas. And when I say that, believe me when I say, get your tickets today because they will sell out. Like all of a sudden, one minute, it could just be, okay, now it's sold out. So Cage the Elephant, that's night one. But all the shows have very limited seats left. Go get them. Don't wait. Get it off your checklist, off your bucket list, if you will. It's done, and the shows are coming up. You have it less than two months away, roughly in that range. And then it's going to be kind of a surprise when the tickets, oh, yeah, I have tickets to this wonderful Q101 event. La, 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 la. Yeah, that's exactly what it's happens. Lovely. When you open your Apple Wallet and the tickets are there, it goes. La, 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 la. Exactly what happens. <laughs> there you go. Now time for a fact that makes your brain go. And this is going to be multiple facts based on oh your. I don't know if I can handle all that. Well, it's based on your Zodiac sign. And this is what all the analytics, all the research, uh, Chicagoans stayed up late to figure out what horror movie is assigned to your Zodiac sign. Oh, so, I'm so excited. So Case does this with his once a week during October. He's been doing horror movies. In fact, you can add on to the Facebook post on what horror movie you want Case to watch this week. He's going to finish with Halloween next week. Mm-hmm. But Case hasn't seen any of the horror movies, and now he's seen a whole bunch. He's seen Friday the 13th. He's seen Saw. He's seen The Shining. But you can pick whatever he wants to watch this week or what you want him to watch at Q101's Facebook page. Add on to that. We posted that uh, last week. Now, this will be the horror movie that aligns with your Zodiac sign. So right now, just think of your favorite horror movie, and then we'll find out 
if it's right for you or wrong, and you should be liking this one or that one. Okay. Coming up here in five minutes, we'll have that. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Well, time for a fact that makes your brain go. And this is multiple facts based on your Zodiac sign of what horror movie aligns with your Zodiac sign. According to science, a lot of Chicago researchers went through this and figured it out for you. So it's kind of fun if you have a favorite horror movie to see if it matches up. Maybe you're way off on your Zodiac sign, and that's why your life is horrible. I don't know. Or I, I, I don't know. That's but, why your life's horrible. That, that just plummeted. That was a little aggressive. I don't, I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay. Maybe your life's great, and you still like a different horror movie. Yeah. Here we go. Let's get through it. So let's start with Aries, which if you were born March 21st to April 19th. Uh, now, I've never heard of this movie. It's called Suspiria. It's a 1977 movie that ends with a lot of flames and Aries people, I guess, like fire. It's a fire sign. Oh, yeah. Um, it's, I guess I'm not, there's actually a spoiler in this definition I'm not going to give in case you haven't seen Suspiria. Um, now, Taurus is next, which is Kenzie. Do you want to go right now? Am I guessing or do you want to just tell me? Well, you could tell me what your favorite horror movie is of all time. The horror movie that I'm just going to say that jacked me up the most and I wasn't expecting it mm. is, it's not a popular one necessarily. It's called Sinister. Okay, I don't think I've ever heard. I've, I don't know if I've ever heard of it. So, Sinister is basically this like old school like demon from like I don't know pagan times or something. But he possesses <laughs> kids. Yeah. He possesses kids, and then kids kill their parents. Oof. And they film it. The kids film it. The kids like film themselves killing their parents, and then the movies always get left like in the attic, and that's how people find out their kids are gonna kill them. It. Messing up so bad. And what really stands out to me is what I saw it in the theater. Because it came out in 2012, so I was still in high school. I saw it in the theater, and the power went out when we were watching it in the theater. Mm. And I'm like, is this part of the experience? Or like, what? I was so terrified when I saw that movie, and I wasn't expecting it. So I think Kay should watch that one this week. I don't know about that. <laughs> so <laughs> really Seems that, like a tough watch. That movie scared me. I think because I read all the Stephen King books, so I kind of knew it was coming. This sinister jacked me up the most ever, for okay. sure. All right. Casey, don't want to watch that? No, I really don't. <laughs> More sure? of a Norbit guy myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's not that. For Taurus, it's a movie called Midsummer. I got another movie I never heard of. Uh, Florence Pugh character has a toxic boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a newer movie. Oh, you yeah, know this 2019 movie? 2019 it came out. I'm, yeah. I'm aware of anything Florence Pugh is doing. Is that right? Oh, yeah, big fan. I don't even know who Florence Pugh is. Nah, you should look her up. Is, it a, is she a writer? No, she's uh she's, she's the actress in the movie. She's a looker. Oh, she's a looker. <laughs> yeah. I'll look that up. Well, she's also talented. <laughs> oh, I agree. Well, I, don't, I think she's great. I wasn't saying that you don't have to be talented. She was you. an Oppenheimer, too. Oh, does she get she's naked the in that? Blonde. Yeah, yeah. Okay, she's, the, she's the one that gets naked in the Oppenheimer. You know, I really, we're not being great to her right now. No, what? she's so she, got, she took her clothes off. You just, yeah. He goes, oh, is she like a writer? You're like, no, she's a looker. And then you're like, is that the one who took her clothes off? Like, let's, <laughs> you know, she but, does But good she work. did all these things, and oh, she's okay. proud of it. And I, she's proud of it? <laughs> she loved her? it. <laughs> she's very beautiful. I got to see Oppenheimer now. Yeah, you know. Okay. Yeah, you know. Anyway, that movie is involved. Her character uh, is, is a toxic boyfriend. Does that relate to maybe your Aries sign there, Kenzie, of That's your life? That's nice. <laughs> What's happening right now? That was so mean, Brian. That was unnecessary. Again, these are facts that Kenzie had talked about before she found her dream man, her husband, that she went through a lot of toxic boyfriends. Isn't that true? You yeah. said that on the air. You said that on the air. I mean, okay. yes, didn't great, didn't date great guys. Got it. But talking about your your zodiac I sign, I wasn't part of a pagan cult though, which she was in the movie. Kind of I don't know. That. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know what you do on the weekends. Uh-huh. All right, so let's keep going through some of these. Uh, Gemini, if you are a Gemini, which means May twenty first to June twenty first, uh, Scream, which case reviewed that movie oh, a few weeks fun. ago. Nice. Love that movie. Uh, cancer is Bram Stoker's Dracula, the original, because they're very nostalgic. So that oh. that cancer signs are very the most nostalgic. They're the zodiac most emotional. Uh, Leo, it's it the movie it. Yeah. Because they're because they think they are it. Okay, the center point of everything. <laughs> I guess they're very like have big on their inner child and being a kid. Uh, Leos. Mm. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't know. Brian. <laughs> uh, Virgo, it's The Shining. Uh, basically, oh. the, yeah. Uh, because they have telepathy going on, Virgos do apparently. So that all movie, of them? all of them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Virgo. Libra is Get Out. Did you see Get Out? Yes. Great movie. Very good. Which is by uh, I always forget if it's Key or Peel. 
It's uh, ooh, but I got It's Jordan. It's Peele. Peele. It's Jordan yeah, Peele. Did Jordan it. Peele. Yeah, because he went off into a horror movie and got very suspense dramas. Yeah, he has He's so us. good. Us. Nope. He has all those. Get Out is great. Very good. Uh, because Libra seeks out the call out Injustice, and that's kind of the basis of that one. Yeah. Uh, Scorpio, Halloween, the original, which Case will watch on Halloween and review that. Woo! Um, because, let's see, Scorpio rules over the eighth house, house of sex, death, and regeneration. Huh. Hmm. Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis is also Scorpio, and she's in the movie. Maybe hey! that's why. Mm-hmm. Scream so, queen. Sagittarius. Uh, you people like the Devil's Rejects, which is a Rob Zombie movie. Uh, pretty harsh, that movie. Yeah, that's a tough one. Capricorn, The Witch. Uh, that's a movie that has a young, innocent girl with a classic line, Wouldst thou like to live deliciously? I didn't like that movie. I saw it mm. and was not impressed. Uh, Pisces is Nightmare on Elm Street, which Case saw last week and did not like it at all and thinks that maybe Freddy Krueger inspired Kurt Cobain to wear that sweater. Possibly. Mm-hmm. And finally, it's Aquarius, which is me and Case. Oh, what do we got? Grand finale? Uh, so that's January 20th to February 18th. So both me and Case are Aquarius. 28 days later. Have you ever seen that movie? Oh, um, th- is that the vampire movie? Well, it's basically zombie-ish, but really they have rabies. It's a weird rabies strain that when they get bitten, then it takes over. It's a zombie-like oh, movie yeah. because everybody gets taken out. I love that movie. Case hasn't seen it. I've never heard of it. You never heard that, of 28 Days Later? Silly no. and Murphy's in it. He's always just creepy. By the way, also an Oppenheimer. Also an Oppenheimer. How about that? He's just always Not, a Is he naked in Oppenheimer? I don't know. I, I don't know. remember. Well, that's nice. You know, you could have at least be equal nudist. Thank and pay you. pay attention to the penises. That's what I'm trying to say here. He he's should... always creepy because he was in Batman. Yes. Um, He was also in... Uh, uh, Red Eye. He was the guy in Red Eye who like kidnaps her. He's always creepy. He's very creepy. 28 Days Later. So there's a 28 Days Later. That's the first movie. There's a 28 Weeks Later, which was still pretty good. And they have 28 Years Later coming out. The good whole Lord. The whole movie was filmed on an iPhone 15. Nuh-uh. Yeah. No way. Yep. That's coming. I can't wait to see that. So I like that. The 28 Days Later. Was it like so- Blair Witch Project? What's it going to look like? I don't know. Those. Well, that was camcorders iPhones are pretty good. I mean, iPhones are good, but still, we're all going to get nauseous and be running around holding the phone. See how it plays out. Um, and there it is. There's your Zodiac signs matched up with your horror movie. If you don't like that one, uh, complain to astrologists. The Brian and Kenzie Show. Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Before we move on with uh, a big update on yesterday, we announced something tremendous for you to help out. Uh, boy, a lot of people checking in on this movie, Sinister, that Kenzie said was her favorite horror movie of all time, where the kids basically get possessed and kill their parents and film it. Yeah. A lot of people have seen that, and it messed you up. That was the most effed up I ever got by a movie. I wasn't expecting it. It's much darker than I anticipated. You see the different videos over time, because this has been going on with this demon for a while. Mm. Like, one kid mows over his parents. With, and a, lawn, with a lawnmower? Yeah. You're not expecting it because he's just kind of mowing the lawn. You're like, all of a sudden, it's his parents' faces. It's huh. the most horrific movie ever. Okay, so how's that sound? Watch this weekend. Oh, yeah, sounds great. <laughs> not a real light watch. So here's here's my curious brain. Was it a push mower or a riding mower? Push. Oh, oh. God. I yeah. thought he was going to be on a Dixie Chopper. I it, guess no. not. I mean, you do a push so mower. it a smooth. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was rough. Um, Terrifying. His whole family's tied up. It was I, like, almost threw up during this movie, and the power went out in the movie theater while we were watching it. That sounds like the best thing that could have happened. But, like, <laughs> but that's scary. I, Good, somebody turned it off. I was like, line. yeah, but think about how dark <laughs> a movie theater is when all the power goes out. Sure. So I'm just sitting there in pitch black. I can't even get up and go get an attendant. I can't see anything. Imagine, like, all the lights off the stairs. Yeah. It, I like, so we're, this is how we die. Mm. Someone's kid is in here, and it, well, like, affected them. I don't teach you to go to that movie. Yeah, Apparently, exactly. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I love how psycho our listeners are, like me, though, because somebody texted in and said, Kenzie, that movie is beyond effed up. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Well, uh, I'm not recommending definitely go see it, but if you are looking for something Ooh. effed up, I imagine it's on Netflix by now or something like that. Yeah, go find it. Sinister's, Sinister's messed up. Okay. I gotta be honest. Here's yeah. something not messed up. Here's something... Completely opposite. Other end of the spectrum. On how you can help somebody not only not get run over by a lawnmower, but <laughs> but eat this holiday season. Yesterday, we launched God Bless the Gravy. It's We've done it every year. What a transition, Brian. I, 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 listen, I'm a transition kid. Uh, <laughs> God Bless the Gravy has helped hundreds of thousands of people eat 
when they don't have the means to find food during the holiday season. And you have helped out. It's our food drive with the Greater Chicago Food Depository every year. So we launch it. You go to Q101.com. There's a set up there to donate. And we get it. It's the hardest thing ever to ask you to donate money right now. And we say that every year, but every year it seems to be getting worse with inflation and the cost. Everybody has to do things. But... If everybody listening just threw in five bucks right now, we would hit our goal. We're trying to get $10,000, which is 30,000 meals. And people came out of the gate pretty strong. We're at uh, 3,700 meals right now. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And I want to give a shout out to um, Adam from ACDC Closets, who went to Kenzie's house yesterday and made a closet. Yeah, we did. It was awesome. He's, like, so fast at closets. Really? He he got to the house at 10. I was still here. My husband was home. And then I came home from work, and he was almost done. He was there for like three hours. Our That's entire incredible. closet's done. Yeah. Painted and everything. I'm like, what do you mean you're packing up? I thought you were going to have to be here for like a week. Well, Adam was one of the guys that last year as a business, we said, hey, you donate. We'll give your business a shout out. It's kind of like buying advertising, but you're doing it for a good cause with the donations. Yeah. And Adam did that where if people used his services. He would give a certain portion He'd to give a percentage. God yeah. bless the gravy. And he does great work. And God bless the gravy. So he's a leader in that. We appreciate him. And just other people donated overnight. I see Daniel. I see David. I see Joseph. I see Kim. Uh, Destin, a lot of good donations overnight. So let's just go there I, again. I, you know, if you have a hundred bucks, that's great. That's three hundred meals because mm-hmm. they can take a dollar and make it into three. If you have a thousand dollars, even better. Uh, but if you have five, that's fifteen meals. Think about how much that helps. Five bucks, and that's the furthest five dollars that we're gonna go. Honestly, I don't think you can get a full blown meal anywhere for five bucks anymore. Mm. I don't think so. Like if you're getting the drink, like if you're getting the the drink, the little side, the Sammy, I don't think you're getting anything for five bucks. I don't think so. So the fact that it could be 15 meals for $5, this is the furthest your dollar ever goes. And honestly, I get it. I get not having a lot of money around this time in particular to spend because like you have extra spending coming up. So. This is how, even if you can only give $5, it really does have a big impact. You you still have a big impact. Right. So everybody listening, please go do it at Q101.com. And this is also a charity where the dollars go right to help. And I'm not saying other charities don't do that. I'm just saying that this one specifically, that dollar goes to three meals and it goes to help your neighbors feed. And if you're thinking about Chicago, you're like, well, I live out in Schaumburg or Naperville. Well, here's the thing. The Greater Chicago Food Depository helps out all of the food banks where you can hear our voice over 300 in the entire area indiana all the way through so you're helping your neighbors and you may even be helping someone in a family member eat god bless the gravy q101.com it's live please donate and let's get that thing up huge this morning let's get a couple grand on there added into several thousand meals let's get the ten thousand meals this morning that would be wonderful to get the ten thousand by the end of the show Please uh, share the link, too, to people you know that uh, may have money. That'd be great. Uh, Here's Gil Curtis with your headlines. This is not headline news. Today is National Nut Day. A great way to observe it is to grab a handful of nuts. And just to be clear, that's the kind that come in the planter's container, Kevin Spacey. Britney Spears posted photos in a wedding dress while claiming she married herself. Predictions are she'll be divorced from herself by February. This Friday, the New York Yankees will face the Los Angeles Dodgers in the World Series. It's already being called the best series that money can buy. And 1% of Americans will air fry their turkey this Thanksgiving and won't shut up about it until Memorial Day. This is not headline news. Brian and Kenzie in the morning and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101.